Hello and welcome to Pipe Spring National Monument. We have a gorgeous historic landscape for you to explore. Pipe Spring National Monument tells the story of conflict and compromise on the Arizona Strip. Here, beneath Vermilion Cliffs, Native Americans, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, plants, animals, and many others have depended on the life-giving water of the desert oasis at Pipe Spring. In Pipe Spring, there are wheelchair accessible opportunities to take in the site's natural and cultural history and learn more about the Kaibab Paiute and the ranchers here who made their living in the desert. Enter the monument to the visitor center and pay the entry fee or present your pass. If you do not already have a federal access pass, you can sign up for one at the front desk. The Federal Access Pass is available for free to U.S. citizens with permanent disabilities. Rangers are available to orient you to the site, answer questions, and provide maps and brochures. While at the Visitor Center, take the opportunity to refill water bottles or use the accessible restrooms. The Cultural Museum features stories, artifacts, and interactive exhibits from the Kaibab Band of Paiute Indians and ranching history. Watch the park film and dig deeper into the area's cultural history and conflict during the period of westward expansion. The Visitor Center store features authentic Native American arts from tribes of the Southwest. If you would like to learn more about the natural or cultural history of the Colorado Plateau, the store has a large selection of books as well. The main paths of the monument are paved with some slopes. However, some areas may require travel over sand and packed earth. Windsor Castle was the centerpiece of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Tithing Ranch at Pipe Spring and functioned as both a headquarters and a defensive structure. However, it was never attacked. The Arizona Strip provided water sources and grazing space for the church's herds. Constructed over the main spring, Windsor Castle cut off the Kaibab Paiute from a source of water they had relied on for centuries. They faced starvation as new settlements displaced them from their traditional lands and as overgrazing by livestock reduced their native foods. Ranger-led tours are available daily. The central courtyard is wheelchair accessible and rangers can adapt their tour to be entirely given from this area with a week's prior notice. If you are able to walk, you can step into the fort and explore its rooms from the inside with a ranger. A steep and narrow staircase provides access to the upper floor The cheese room and spring room were used for cold storage for meat and dairy products produced at the ranch. On the day you visit, you may see ranger programs, crafts, and demonstrations throughout the monument grounds. These tell the story of the people who depended on the spring and the surrounding landscape for survival. These demonstrations would be provided seasonally by interpretive rangers. The Kaibab Paiutes knew how to use each plant, animal, and mineral in this arid environment. Their deep understanding of these resources provided them with the basic needs of life, food, clothing, shelter, medicine, and spiritual aids. The Kaibab Paiutes lived in natural shelters or built cons of juniper branches. 
They moved seasonally to hunt deer, pronghorn, rabbits, and gathered grass seed, pinion nuts, roots, and cactus fruit. They also cultivated corn, beans, and squash. Pioneer children made their toys, including using scraps of fabric to create dolls. Cattle brands were a necessary part of life in the West to keep track of the livestock that roamed vast tracts of grazing land. In the 1860s, ranching brought thousands of cattle and sheep to the Arizona Strip. Within just 10 to 20 years, the sheer number of livestock exceeded the grazing capacity of the high desert grasslands. To create these brands, in addition to providing general metalwork for the ranch, a blacksmith was on hand. Envision a thousand years of gardening, Native American people living in sync here and cohesively with an arid environment. Envision corn plants, beans, and squash growing at the spring. Today, as you explore the grounds, you will see corrals, outbuildings, and lifeways that were left behind by the pioneers. For men, there were long hours of routine ranch and farm work, as well as dangerous seasonal tasks of roundups and branding. The women at Pipe Spring operated the telegraph and made butter and cheese each day. The women of the house were also expected to provide a proper welcome to any travel buyers that would be stopping at Pipe Spring. It can be very hot and dry out in the Arizona Strip, so please take time to hydrate and cool off under the shaded areas on the monument grounds. And feel free to have some lunch in the accessible picnic table area that is also shaded at Pipe Spring National Monument.